Did you realize that 25% of our seniors face the catch-22 of choosing food or medicine? Tragically, many of our founding dads and mothers are struggling financially in retirement. Mrs. Evelyn. Thompson, 82, a retired educator with over 40 years of experience, has a pension and savings. However, she now fears that mounting costs will wipe off her modest financial cushion, and every month she must face the terrifying task of. Allocation or funds today, there is hope that will reduce the family's financial load as they often forgo basic needs like food and warmth to maintain their medicine routine. A historic statement by the Canadian government could bring financial security and peace of mind to millions of seniors. Our elderly have been burdened by this decision for too long. Seniors receiving the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIs can now benefit from a groundbreaking initiative created by the Trudeau administration and Minister of Seniors CISO Regan. Qualify for a $2,131 bonus payout immediately this large amount will be sent directly into their bank accounts with the first installments expected by November 2024. This fantastic project is simply the start of a systematic plan to help our dear seniors financially. The government has vowed to increase monthly GIS payments for the poor, however details are yet unclear. Our seniors can relax knowing their financial struggles are being considered. We're committed to the cause and will provide a new earache or ear benefit payment for seniors with hearing loss. This supplementary cash will help our elders live independently and with a high quality of life by reducing the cost of medical care. Financial costs, if you support this historic move toward protecting our elderly, please like and share this video. Never know, your involvement may inspire others to speak out for this vital subject. Have you clicked like? To show our gratitude, click subscribe to be updated on this groundbreaking endeavor. I wish everyone who watches and shares this film a long, healthy, and prosperous life. Dear friends, I'm glad you're here today. Again, we examine a fundamental issue of our society, the health and wealth of our beloved seniors. Our elders see this payment increase as a huge change and a message of hope. Mrs. Thompson and millions like her will no longer have to choose between fundamental needs, allowing them to finally afford proper nutrition, a glimpse of optimism in financial turmoil, maintain warmth in cold winters and receive medical care without impact goes beyond cash relief. Our elderly can feel dignified, free, and at peace by lowering poverty-related stress and anxiety. No more stress about paying expenses, they can enjoy their senior years. Imagine our elders' joy as they enjoy life's little pleasures like taking their grandchildren on an outing, rekindling old hobbies, or enjoying a meal without worrying about money. It's about offering elders hope, joy, and appreciation for their unfathomable contributions to society, not just money, this historic move shows the Canadian government's dedication to our elders who have been neglected for too long. Modern life has overshadowed their struggles, but today our leaders have made it plain that the health and happiness of our elders is our top priority and we will do all to ensure they spend their final years in peace and honor and the financial security they deserve. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Minister of Senior CISO Reagan bravely addressed elder poverty. But in this historic decision, our government has recognized the hardships of our elderly and taken decisive action to alleviate their suffering, demonstrating our unwavering commitment to our great nation's values of compassion, empathy, and social responsibility. Bold approaches to the issue they have shown that their dedication is backed by action and a commitment to building a fairer society where no one, especially those who have sacrificed so much, is left behind. While this payout increase is a huge advance, it's crucial too. Recognize that it is simply the start of a larger effort to ensure our seniors' financial security, the rising cost of living, notably health care and housing, requires our full attention. Prescription medicines and medical treatments can drain a senior's budget, leaving little for other needs, an all-encompassing technique that involves affordable medical treatment. Can ease this strain, allowing elders to stay healthy without risking their finances. While property prices and rental rates rise, seniors on limited incomes may struggle to locate a safe, comfortable home. The $2,131 time payment provides some short-term relief, but policies that encourage inexpensive senior housing complexes and other age-appropriate living arrangements have long-term benefits. So, Implications of price hikes on elderly buying power, we must maintain a balanced attitude and understand that regular cost of living adjustments to GIS payments and other financial assistance programs could help preserve the genuine worth of these benefits, preserving our elders' economic security. Although this payment boost is excellent, more needs to be done to address our aging population's complex concerns. Many people are concerned about rising health care costs. Affordable housing, especially for seniors, is crucial as property values and rental rates rise. 
especially in urban areas. Seniors on a budget may struggle to find a safe, pleasant, and age-appropriate home. Programs to build low-cost senior apartments. Long-term inflation effects on seniors' purchasing power, regular cost of living changes to GS payments, and other financial difficulties must be considered in addition to the $2,131 payout. Rent subsidies and property tax reductions could address this urgent issue. Support programs could ensure that these benefits retain their value over time, ensuring financial security for seniors. Dear friends, true financial stability for our elderly requires concerted effort, unwavering resolve, and relentless advocacy. This payment hike is just the start. Remarkable success, everyone must speak out for this crucial cause as this is just the beginning of a bigger journey. Please spread this video to raise awareness and motivate others to fight for our elderly. Inform, comment, and subscribe to interact. Our holy duty is to give our seniors the dignity, respect, and financial stability they deserve in their golden years. We can raise their voices and end aging stigma. Our elderly have spent their lives shaping our world. Shame linked with elder poverty, and we must use this occasion to unite to empower our dear seniors. We must work together, advocate tirelessly, and show compassion to ensure no elder is left behind. Use this time to inspire development and rally. We must remain optimistic and upbeat as we celebrate this historic milestone, which offers hope to our seniors in financial need. The future may be difficult, but we must remain a community that appreciates and cherishes those who have given us so much. We are committed to a better tomorrow where our seniors can enjoy their golden years with dignity, financial stability, and peace of mind. This monumental decision shows the power of togetherness and proves that our government listens when we speak out. The payment boost is just the start of a long journey to a more fair society. We must take bold, practical efforts to lift and empower the poor while we celebrate this hard-won achievement. Let us look forward to the future with hope and determination, knowing that by advocating for and dedicating ourselves to our elders, we can create a compassionate society where our seniors, the foundation of our nation, are valued, respected, and given the chance to thrive in their twilight years. Instead, we can keep pushing for revolutionary change and establish a country where no senior is left behind, financial instability is a thing of the past, and our seniors can enjoy the comforts of a community that honors and supports them for all they've done. We're celebrating more than a wage raise. We're committing to assisting our seniors, the folks who have built our society, enjoy their final years in comfort, honor, and safety.